The other thing is that that is a rover. I mean, we have looked and looked and looked, and I compared it to another photo. It's it's twin photo. Yeah, that's a rover there. That's not a strut down at the bottom because the struts don't go that low. They're only this high. This is right at the bottom of the pad, and you can see the tires. The other two are broken right off of the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And all the stuff is still hanging there. You know when Scott shows all those ropes and crap hanging off of there? Well, you can see it right there. That triangle thingy that's hanging with those ropes dangling on there. And yeah. these guys are still saying it's a strut. Well, there's no strut down there. No, no, there isn't. The it's struts broken. are broken right off. Yeah, they're broken clean off. Yeah, it's extraordinary looking at it. There doesn't appear to be any space within that quadrant where the rover could be stored. It looks full. It looks as though it's got stuff in it. Well, the actual quadrant where the rover is stored, where the legs come out, that's where the fuel tanks are. Yeah. So the wedge quadrant, that's quadrant one on that side where the rover wedges into, you actually don't see it in that photograph. It's not visible. However, people are saying, oh, well, we've watched videos of the rover being deployed. Well, one of them is an hour and 20 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, Take the rover is. down, and the other document says it's about 20 minutes to bring the rover down, and that includes loading all of the equipment on it. Yeah, it's interesting. And then if you look at the video of the rover being deployed, it's in the shade, the one that they show. Yeah, but they forgot. See, this is what this guy said, and I says, yeah. They're the reason why that rover is laying there and all broken is because they forgot to clean it up. That's why it's still yeah, there. Exactly. It's interesting that there are no film. There's no evidence of them actually creating the rover, putting all the equipment onto it, which would take a while. But when it opens up, they have to mechanically hook up the steering. Then they have to put the camera mounts in and mount the camera. Yes. then the antenna mount and mount the camera and make all of those little wire connections on there yeah. with those gloves on now people are also saying oh there was no damage to the rover and he showed yeah. that the seats were damaged the fenders were damaged that only one battery was operating so they only had power to two wheels not four and that the steering was damaged and then, of course, in his documentation, when he did his presentation, he said they parked it in the shade overnight and magically it was repaired. 